So welcome to the Protect class. We're here to help you protect your health, protect your life. Home and auto. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you're listening, we've already done this class once, and uh, it didn't record the way it was supposed to. So now we're going to do it again. There we go. So let's have some fun. But it's all about protect. Everybody say protect, okay? This is your host, Dr. Joseph Arve. Uh, I'm a very good chiropractor and doctor and husband. Um, we are learning about how to work this technical world. But I'm your health shepherd there. If you want to get a hold of me, that's how you can get a hold of us. And again, just Google us, Spine Geek, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Google, SpineGeekChiropractic.com. SpineGeek.com. And what it is, it? it's always good for you. So we're different, to say the least. And I want you to understand, what separates what you're going to hear today is medicine is the study of disease and what causes man to die, according to Dr. B.J. Palmer. Chiropractic is the study of health. And what causes you, man, woman, and child, to live? And we wanted to do this this um, workshop on how to protect yourself from the environment that's out there. And we'll get more to that in, into that in a minute. There's three types of health that we see in our practice. We see people who have brown grass health, and they're always in pain. They're losing hope. They stop listening. I'm sorry. You just said brown. I'm sorry. Dead grass people over here on the far right. Thank you, Mrs. Arve. Where they're always in pain, they're losing hope, they stop listening to advice, uh, they're over-medicated, their organs are diseasing, their systems are shutting down, they're in nursing homes maybe. And the thing is, is that something has attacked their nerve supply and it's, and it's very minimal and they're very low power and that over time puts them, when we say, the, the dead grass health state. Then you've got people who are in the brown grass health state where... There's no pain, or sometimes there is pain. Some days they feel good, some days they don't feel good. Uh, medications, they're on more and more medications. Maybe they're getting shots now. Surgeries, life is getting hard, life's not fun. They feel broken, not okay. And one thing we find that there's chemicals, there's environment, there's toxicity that can cause their nerve supply to become weak. Then there's the third kind of health, green grass health. Um, that's the kind of doctoring that we do. Um, and, and again, it gives them a strong body, strong mind, strong spirit. Uh, they're at their ideal weight. Medication really isn't necessary, neither are shots or surgery, only for emergency situations. Life's not good. And these folks have a strong nerve supply. The environment, the toxic chemicals, um, yes, they, they, they attack the body, but then the brain and the nerve system has the ability to filter it out, detox it out, and you go on living your life. That's where we want to be. And always so be. we want, always want us to be. I don't think it's videotaping us. It's just screen beds. Okay. Mm. So if you find yourself in a dead grass, brown grass situation, or a green grass mm -hmm. health situation, and you want to know what's causing this, or how can I protect myself mm -hmm. from, from uh, the things that are out there, then this, was, this is what this Facebook Live event is all about. There's six shields that we teach in our office to put your, to protect yourself. It's like Captain America. Captain America shields. Captain America shields, right? Red, white, and blue. Um, but you have the shield of peace. When you choose peace, that shields away the stress. Mm -hmm. When you get strong and you exercise on a regular basis, that shields weakness and makes you strong, strong body, strong mind, strong spirit. When you have the shield of fuel, that means that you, you, you think about every bite that goes in your mouth. You can read the ingredients that are in what you're drinking or what you're eating and it has a green grass effect on your body, not a toxic brown grass or dead grass effect. Therefore, and you protect. So your cleaners are not overly, they, their cleaners are safe. They're not causing brown grass, dead grass. Um, your cookware is safe. It's not causing brown grass or dead grass. Your cosmetics are safe. They're not causing brown grass or dead grass. Your water is safe. They're not causing brown grass or dead grass. Your vitamins are safe. They're not causing brown grass or dead grass. And so these are shields that we protect ourselves. And of course, if you have a health emergency, then we have the emergency room to go to for medications and surgeries and things to shield our health that way. The problem is though, in America and around the world, 
The first shield we run to is the medication or surgery shield. And we don't know there's a peace, a strong, a fuel, a protect. And the most important one you're going to learn about at the end, the spine power shield, which protects you the most. Mm -hmm. As Americans, we run to the emergency, we run to the medication, the medicine cabinet, the Walgreens, the hospital, thinking that everything is a medical emergency when really it's because maybe your peace shield has went down or your strong shield has gone down or your fuel shield has gone down or your spine power shield has gone down or your protect shield has gone down. So we want to talk about mostly the protect shield and getting that back up. So this is our family. We've used those six shields to protect ourselves for the last 33 years of marriage and we've raised six healthy people <laughs> you know four children two two grown adults now four adults so understand that the average person is exposed to over two million toxins on a daily basis yeah and so where do those toxins come from how do they get in there right i mean again they're all over and they're everywhere they're in our food they're in our water they're in the environment they're in cosmetics they're in cleaners and there are containers. So let me say it again. There are things in your food, water, environment, cosmetics, cleaners, and containers that can have a brown grass to dead grass effect on your body, mind, and spirit. And some of those some of those toxins are in your cosmetic and your cleaners. Yes. That crazy. And so A, the purpose of this video is to help you be aware that they're th that they're in that. And then B how to detox them out of your body and out of your life so that you can live a green grass, healthy, strong life. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, good. So toxic damage. Again, toxic damage is everywhere. We have to understand that these toxins have a deadly effect on our body, on our mind, on our emotions. And they can affect our hormones. They can affect many things. Again, toxins are damaging to our organs, enzymes, and even our DNA. There are many different kinds of toxins, all of which have different damaging effects on the body. Toxins can mess with your hormones. You, it can increase your risk of certain diseases and cause impaired function. These and others are all important reasons to be aware of toxins and their damage. Yes, and some of the toxins, there's a thing that we're going to be talking about a lot, and it, they're called... Uh, endocrine disruptors. Well, the endocrine, your endocrine disruptors are things that are going to hit your pituitary, your your thyroid, all these things that actually help control your hormones too. That a lot of these chemicals are going to hit that first. They're going to go right to your endocrine disruptors, or they're called endocrine disruptors because they're going to go mess with those things, which starts the whole downhill right spiral. And we'll talk about how how do they even get in there, right? And so understand that people say, oh, it's just my genes. I got sick. I got cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's because of my genes. Well, here's the thing. You've, you've heard that lots of times, but people frequently link cancer or any other brown grass or dead grass conditions, if you would, uh, to just, well, it's just my genes. Uh, it's not my fault. It's my parents' fault, my grandmother's fault. But again, research shows something completely different. It says... One study found that only 5 to 10% of cancers, again, brown grass, dead grass diseases, are due to genetics, leaving the remaining 90 to 95% of brown grass, dead grass conditions, cancers, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, um, in the hands of the environment and the way we live, our lifestyle, what we do every day, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, seven, um, 365 days a year. And so the first place we want to look is at how to have a exit strategy to get these chemicals out of our life, out of our body, out of our brains, out of our teeth, right? Mm -hmm. And start living a clean life to then, then to go from be able to go from dead grass to brown grass to green grass health. So because again, we're exposing ourselves to the top toxins. I mean these toxins again have a very deadly, very poisonous effect. So we have to realize that in, a, in these chemicals, there's formaldehyde, there's chlorine, there's ammonia, and, and so many more. And so let's look at cleaners, for instance. 
that when you read the ingredients on the back of the bottles, sometimes it says, none your business, right? <laughs> and if it says none your business or other chemicals... Or they write them microscopically or you've got to take yeah. a label off to even look at them. Yeah, <laughs> or you need, a, you need a, a chemistry degree to pronounce them. You might not want to be using them, right? Exactly. So disinfectants, again, the whole world's using all kinds of disinfectants, but the question is, are they having a green grass effect or a brown grass, dead grass effect? Because if you see fragrances, colors, propylene glycol in these cleaners, they're cleaning, but they're also making you sick in the process. Right, and some of them are petroleum, and some of them are, do you know that there's 3,059 different compounds that they use, and they label them all? Fragrance. Fragrance, right. They, they, there's like 3,000 different things, and they call them all fragrance because they don't want to tell you what they are. Exactly. Crazy. So you got to be aware of that. Lab and petroleum. And again, this is, um, compare the cleaners you're using now to the ones that are suggested by the Environmental Working Group. And so you guys know how to use this. It's a QR code. Hold your camera on your phone up to it, and um, it'll give you the website with tons of different um things you can be using as far as safe and healthy cleaners right. for you, your family, your children. And you can even get Google just e EWG. EWG.org, I believe it is, mm -hmm. and it'll show up. Mm -hmm. And again, the problem is, is that we're seeing is that, you know, our bodies are made by God, and these chemicals are showing up in blood tests, in urine tests, and in and, and our cells, and they don't belong there. Mm -hmm. That these chemicals have been proven for years to show up and cause joint pain, skin issues, tummy issues, reproductive issues, reproductive issues, neurological problems, nerve and joint muscle disorders, mood swings, memory loss, heart, skeletal, blood immune, kidney, renal problems, headaches, vomiting and nausea, uh, brittle hair and, and hair loss, skin issues, again, contact dermatitis, and lung damage. So again, we want to put this word out to say, hey, look at the things you're using on a daily basis. It could, they could definitely be having a brown grass, dead grass effect on your body. Just read it for yourself. You right. be the judge. Well, sometimes people do, you know, like people that have to take, like, take a shower a day or more than one shower a day. I mean, they're using that a lot. Then they wash their hands with it. And right. And it just goes on and on and on. And by the end of the day, they're bombarded. Exactly. Overuse. And again, how does it get everywhere, Dr. Joe? How do these chemicals cause so many problems in so many areas of the body? It's because all the research shows that these chemicals, once they get through your skin, then they get into your blood urine, they attack your nerve system, which is your brain and spinal cord you see in this slide, and that gives it basically the highway to hell, the highway to every access of your body. So vision problems, heart problems, breathing problems, digestive problems, skin problems, hormonal problems, reproductive problems. Mm -hmm. Again, when you mess with the nerve system and, and, and make it sick and poison it, and put toxins in it, then it has access to every access of your body. And so that's why we, we look at it. And then the reason why I talk about green grass, brown grass, dead grass, the reason why I'm a chiropractor and I study health and I study life is that when we give what your garden hose is for your grass, if it gets kinked, then the grass goes brown and it goes dead. And we unkink it, then it goes from brown to dead, back to green. Mm -hmm. That's the same way your spine works. So every time you get a chiropractic adjustment in our office, your body and your nerve system is really turning back on and you're going back to green grass. You're detoxing yourself. Your nerve system is getting strong and getting healthy. And all those conditions we see get better in our office because we know how to get healthy and make you alive. So let's talk about cosmetics. Cosmetic. Well, did you know that they're, they, they, I think they may have increased it, but just a few years ago there was only 11 ingredients that were banned from any of our cosmetics. There might be 30 now. but there's different companies that will use like a lot, a lot higher. They'll, they'll, there's like beauty counter. There's 1,500 items that they will not put in their in their beauty products because they're not good. If you go to Europe, Europe has right across the board 1,300 product or chemicals that they will not put in any product. In America, we got 11 to 30 that they we won't put. They'll put anything in. So I'm just saying, do your research. Beauty counter is good. Um, they 
you know, they, they, are, they really try to be clean. Um, Bioessence is pretty clean. Uh, environmental Working Group has, they compare all these things. And you can find out, let's say, if you need, like, a moisturizer or you want a concealer. And they'll give you between, they call them, like, one, two, or threes are the best. Those means are, those are the cleanest. And they give you a, a variety of them. And you can go and pick whatever, whatever you want. But there are places where you can go and get some clean makeup because it does, it does compound. Also, if you're wearing lipstick or makeup that lasts 24 hours, you are using something that actually has mercury, and they call it thermosol. It's it's, it's thimerosal, yeah. Thimerosal. It's 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 it's, um, it's labeled so you don't know it's called mercury. Right, because again, your skin is your largest organ in the body. Yes. And our cosmetics are one of the biggest culprits for toxins in our everyday life. Mm -hmm. Every day our skin comes in contact with so many products every single day. So in this report called Heavy Metal Hazards, the Health Risk of Hidden Heavy metal Metals in Face Makeup, the Environmental Defense Group tested 49 different face makeup items, including five foundations, four concealers, four powders, five bl blushes or bronzers, seven mascaras, two eyeliners, a partridge in a pear tree, um, four eyeshadows, and eight lipsticks or glosses. And here's what they found. You know what they found? What? It's shocking. 96% contained lead. Yeah. Right? Crazy. That's not good. That's not yeah. good for the brain. Again, it gets in the brain. It yep. makes all your body brown grass, dead grass. Yep. makes you sick. 90% contained uh, berylium. 61% contained thallium. 51% contained cadmium. And 20% contained arsenic. And again, I don't know about you, but arsenic does not belong in the body. Well, no. And then, then what they put in, like sunscreen? Oh, my gosh. Sunscreen, they've got the biophenoids. Well, the biophenoids, I mean, and they're, they're, again, endocrine disruptors. So as soon as you put on, slather on your, your sunscreen, it goes right into your bloodstream. Yep. It doesn't, it just goes, boop, okay, your body sucks it right in. And you just put it on. Yep. And again, if, you know, for me personally... I'm not a regular makeup user or eye mascara, and I don't know what a glosser is, but I know people use that stuff every single day. Yep. Yep. And it's like it fills up your cells on a daily basis, and it makes you toxic. So, again, if you want to compare your cosmetics to what the Environmental Working Group says is safe and effective, you can uh, hold your phone up to this QR code, snap a picture, or you know what to do. Probably more than we know what to do with it. But again, there is a ton of information there with that QR code of how to exit um, your toxic cosmetics right. and begin using uh, non-toxic cosmetics. Right. You'll feel better. Yep. And again, Beauty Counter is, is one of the uh, products that we use. Yeah. And, and again, it just talks about how clean. So you want your cosmetics to be safe, uh, their ingredients be transparency, not none of your business. Mm -hmm. You want to be responsible source for all materials, yep. sustained packaging, environmental footprinting, awarded for product performance. And not hurt those little animals. Not hurt them animals. Not to hurt. Don't hurt the beagles. Don't hurt the little bunnies, right? You want to have quality assurance programs, trace contaminants, yep. be able to keep track of that, formulas. And, and you'll, get a, you'll get a good variety of things that are really good on environmental working groups. Yes, sites. they'll give you lots so, of good yeah. stuff there. And again, sunscreen, again, what do you put on? I mean, again, you don't want to get... You don't want to get uh, brown grass, dead grass from being out in the sun, but again, you want to avoid oxybenzone, uh, retinol, palamates, um, anything that has added insect repellent, and then look for things that have zinc oxide, uh, avil, benzone, and uh, mexoral XL. And again, the brand we like is Badger and some beauty counter stuff, yep, yep. but again, mineral-based ingredients, no parabens. They have a range of SPF of 15 to 50, unscented, make sure they use essential oils for scent, mm -hmm. but lotion-based, water-resistant, non-nano, and broad, broad spectrum. Then your cookware. Again, you have Teflon cookware um, with the polytetrafluoroethylene. See, I can say that. Mm -hmm. The PTFE? <laughs> PTFE. So again, when you're cooking and you heat up these pans, they're leaching toxins into your food that when you eat it <clears throat> has a brown grass, dead grass effect on your body. So we got it, we find this stuff in many Teflon nonstick cookwares, but also we find Teflon in face masks. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what I'm saying is that whenever you wear a face mask, 
It has a brown grass, dead grass effect Just on like your body. Blue ones, white the, ones. The blue ones, different tip, the, the cloth, not the cloth ones, but the, the, the ones you buy that are free. The ones they hand yeah, out. The ones they hand out, exactly. The ones they hand out. Understand they have Teflon in them. And you're breathing it in. You're wondering, why does that make my brain hurt? Why am I having a hard time breathing in school or passing out? Or I've heard seizure activities now. Maybe because they're toxic for the brain and body. Just yeah. saying. And we're also saying that, you know, that try to change out your cookware. Um, but, if you, you know, try doing one piece at a time. We went and dumped the whole kit and caboodle and bought a whole kit and caboodle. Um, but then again, you know, you have to piece together special little plans because they don't, the package you want to get doesn't always have all the sizes you need. So go with the ones that you that you use the most and, and get that size first. And yes, even yes, if you yes. even when you change out your makeup, get rid of um don't dump everything. I mean you eventually want to dump everything, but just go and start with the one that you're the lowest on. So if you're lowest on moisturizer, then get a healthier moisturizer. Or if you if you are like love using uh Eyeliner all the time, find a better source so that you're not hurting right. your eyes all the time. You're worth it. And again, a step to exit your cookware is simply one piece at a time, like you said. Yep. Yep. Stainless steel is a great one. You can yep. find them sometimes at a Marshall's or mm -hmm. a Ross or something, mm -hmm. right? Or just ask your friends, you know, maybe go to a garage sales or something and begin to switch things out. Right. But okay. Don't buy the Teflon. Don't buy the Teflon one. Nope. Microplastics. You need to be looking for at microplastics, again, because microplastics can be found in many storage containers and yep. surgical masks, again. Um, in one literature review that calculated the amount of plastic the average person consumes, researchers estimated that over, the average person drinks 1,769 plastic particles from tap water every day. In the U.S., 94.4% of all tap water samples contain plastic fibers. As did, as did 82% of samples from India, 72% of samples from Europe. They're all over. And it's all in our water. All in our water. And again, so what? What's the big deal, Dr. Joe? It has a negative brown grass, dead grass effect on your body. Yep. It messes with your reproductive organs, yep. your heart, your brain. And over time, again, over time, why are we seeing all these neurodegenerative diseases why are we seeing poor test scores? Why are we seeing these brain issues showing up? Mental they're getting in somehow, yeah. and this is how they're getting yeah. into our body. Right, and use glass. We like to use glass storage containers. Yep. A great exit, can, you know, a great exit strategy is sw slowly switching out your plastic containers for glass, glass containers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, make sure we're dusting and vacuuming, getting all the plastic stuff, you know, gotten rid of the house. Keep your house clean. And then reusing grocery bags, reusable grocery bags, you know, paper or the ones you buy at the, um, Whole Foods or Vitamin Cottage, you know, the reusable ones. We know what those are. Mm -hmm. But water, water is a big one too. We got to be careful with the water that we're using, right? Um, you know, we expose yourself on average to 25 gallons of toxic contaminated water on a daily basis. If your skin repels 75% of the chemicals and toxins, What's happening to the other 25% that's absorbed? It enters your body. Yep. And so, and again, we use tap water each day and, and then brushing our teeth with our tap water, washing our hands and showering. And so the EPA found that, about, that tap water contains over 84,000 chemicals, including pesticides, chlorine, VOCs. You know what VOC stands for? Volatile organic compounds and more. I knew you were going to ask me that, Thank so I you. looked it up. Yep. A 15-minute shower is equivalent of, to drinking eight glasses of harmful water. Think about it. The hot water produces steam, and you inhale the poisonous two. The steam facilitates chloroform and TCE, which is Yikes. trichloroethylene. It's volatile, colorless, liquid organic chemical absorption that can cause brown grass, dead grass. Again, I'm not here to scare you. I'm just simply saying, be aware. Yeah. Get a filter for your shower head. Yep. Get a filter for your home system right get even get a brita or something for the water in your house yeah. just be aware that if you're suffering from brown grass dead grass health and you want to get going to green grass you got to know and for how to protect yourself mm -hmm. and again food you have to read the ingredients that are in food and in your mm -hmm. drinks mm -hmm. if you can't pronounce it it doesn't belong in you so look for monosodium glutamate, MSG, natural flavoring. Look for aspartame. You know what aspartame is? It's Splenda. It's the pink pack, the blue pack, the yellow pack 
that we're putting in our crappuccinos that we're and using for cooking. And aspartame has direct access to your blood-brain barrier. It crosses that. And your blood-brain barrier is made to not be crossed. Exactly. So what, when man makes a chemical that can cross it to go right, have direct access to your brain? Sorry, not doing it. And then again, when it gets to your brain, it gets to your spinal cord, it has yep. access to every part of your body, physically, emotionally, your eyes, ears, nose, and throat, your organs, it has access to everything. Yep. Nitrates, you got to be careful. With nitrates, it can be in lunch meats. It can be in your wine. And again, that can have a brown grass, dead grass effect on the right. body as well. And as for colors, you got yellow 5, blue 1, red 28, red 5. And those are, again, endocrine disruptors. And they can be, and they have been, linked to hyperactivity in children and neurotoxic behaviors also in children from these dyes. Right. So when you look at your child's food, if you see red dye 40, that's not food. That's mm -hmm. a chemical. It's a chemical. And that can have very toxic effects on the body, especially over a long period of time. Mm -hmm. So, and again, all these things, you know, we're talking about, we took it one day at a time, one week at a time, one month at a time, one year at a time, and we got it out of our life and out of our home so that we could raise healthy families. And, and they didn't even use them back in the day. No. I mean, back in the day, you know, the, your, your food was colored. Even Fruity Pebbles and stuff was not colored. It was just natural colors. Right. Well, now it's all these colors. It's all red five or red, red 40 and blue 1 and yellow 5. Right. And and, kids and, don't need to eat that. No, they don't. And again, we, we still live in America. We all have choices, but I think there should be... A full disclosure of everything, yeah. and that's why we're doing this class. So, re, yep. re, you know, refined oils again, canola oil, rapeseed rape oil. oil, all these things, you know, are 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 man-made, and and get man-made products don't belong in a body mm -hmm. made by God. No, and again, genetically modified foods. Again, you got to be aware of that. So, if I have an organic apple in my left hand and I have a genetically modified apple in my right hand, they both look the same. But the issue is that when I take a bite out of the organic apple, my brain goes, oh, looks like apple, tastes like apple, apple, and it makes green grass. When I eat a genetically modified food, apple in this case, the brain says, oh, looks like apple, smells like apple, tastes like apple, but boy, this is not an apple. And it has then, it only, the only reaction it can have is a brown grass, dead grass reaction to the food that we're eating. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to be careful with the food that you're eating. They should, they, you need to find out what's genetically modified or not. Yeah. You need to find out the ingredients where you can pronounce what's even in it. Because if you can't, it's not food. So this is one of the things that come like the dirty dozen. That's why we want to encourage you to buy organic, you know, that Especially is, these twelve. Especially these twelve that because again, what should all my food be organic? Not necessarily. If you don't have to eat the peel like an avocado or, or an a cantaloupe, they call it cantaloupe or melons or nowadays. An or an orange, right? What are some other foods that we peel? Bananas. Bananas. You know, those, okay, those can be conventional because the pesticide isn't really getting from the peel into the fruit. But with strawberries, you know, uh, tomatoes, peaches, these 12 here, when they spray it, it's getting through the skin. We eat the skin. It's getting into the, the fruit itself, the, the body of the food, and we ingest it. You can't wash that off. Mm -hmm. That's why we suggest organic versions. Right. And again, our soil is... Is very important. Yeah. There's also a Clean 15, but we didn't put that up. Yeah, you'll have to, you'll have to look yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, Environmental yeah. Working Group Clean 15. Yeah. So, and again, we have to look at our soil because it's just not our soil. You know, over time, the soil quality has decreased in our, in, especially in our country, leading to a decreased amount of nutrients in our food. This has made it increasingly more necessary to continue to consume quality supplements to fill in those nutrient gaps. So the really reason why we take vitamins is because sometimes we can't get from the soil, from the food, right. what our body requires to, to stay and live uh, green grass. And then again, toxic bioaccumulation. This is to help understand, it's not so much what you eat, it's what you eat ate. And so let's look at this as an example. You know, a very small fish is consuming toxins from the water they're living in. But this may not be very high for the little fish, you know, like, like they're wild caught or in clean water. However, a big fish will eat the smaller fish, and then another fish will eat that fish, and so on. And that bigger fish eats the other fish, and then ends up on your plate. Understanding, when you're eating that big fish, you're getting the toxins that all the other fish it ate in it. 
So that's what we say. It's not so much what you eat, it's what you eat ate. So if it's pork, if it's beef, if it's chicken, if it's fish, find out how it was raised, find out what it was fed, because now you're getting that into your body and that can have a toxic effect, a brown grass, dead grass effect on your body as well. Okay? Cool? All right. And again, finally, vitamins. What vitamins are you taking? Well, sometimes we're trying to take vitamins to try to make up for the sloppy chemicals that are getting into us. And again, there's there's only one way to do that, and it has to be a cellular detox. But you have to make sure that the chemicals that are in your vitamins are safe and have a green grass effect on you. You have to make sure that there's a great, we call, bioavailability. When you... When you, when you take vitamins, you want to have a high bioavailability. Many supplements are loaded with artificial sweeteners, flavors, and colors that may have low bioavailability or absorption. These supplements may be ultimately causing more harm than good. In addition to minimizing fillers, again, they put all kinds of fillers in it, but we want to minimize those. It's important to find supplements, vitamins, that are close to their natural form as possible. Whole food vitamins, which we have in our office. So this includes ingredients with high bioavailability and absorption. Many nutrients and supplements are formulated with low bioavailability, leaving you with very little nutrients that are actually absorbed and used by your body. So these, these, these vitamins don't have a green grass effect. They actually have a brown grass, dead grass effect on your body. So that's why I love our Max Living products because they promote using supplements that are natural, readily absorbed by the body, and provide you with the best and most effective nutrients. So again, we want to make sure that we're doing a good job with the vitamins we take. We want to have closest to, to natural. Okay, again, you eat a good diet, but sometimes because of the the, the soil, we we have to supplement. Mm -hmm. So what do we look for? Well, first of all, no artificial flavors or colors or additives for that thing, right? Mm -hmm. So don't no. You got to be able to pronounce what's in the vitamin. And no GMOs. And no colors, no GMOs. Mm -hmm. But look for things that say GMP, GMP certified or FDA registered or NSF certified. Again, the, the products that we sell in our office and online, again, are, are always 100% free or GMO. They're 100% gluten free and they deliver the strength and purity guarantee. You mean you're saying GMO free? They're GMO okay. free, right. That's what the slide says right here. Okay, right. Good. Okay, good. Make sure you got me. You said. Am I good? <laughs> so our supplements contain no artificial sweeteners. Low levels of natural sweeteners. They're GMO free and they're gluten free. Yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. good. And they're really good. So, if you're like, well, Dr. Joe, I'm really feeling, and Eileen, I'm feeling a little brown grass or really dead grass. I've got some brain fog going on. I've got some skin issues going on. I've got joint pain. I've got um, weight loss resistance. My hormones aren't working right. And I want to do a detox. So, can I do a liver cleanse? No. Can I do a gallbladder cleanse? No. Can I do a fast and get my gut clean? No. These toxins, again, they go to your cells. So picture your cells with a bunch of garage doors on them, and they're all full of junk. They're all constipated. And we need to do something to open up those garage doors to get all the junk out. And you need a product that's going to give you what's called glutathione. Everybody say glutathione. Glutathione. So when you scan this, okay, you're going to see that how to get this product. It's There's two products in this box. The first one is a cell detox. And it has ingredients that boosts the glutathione levels in your body. It opens the garage. It opens the garage door. Mm -hmm. The junk, the, the toxins detox out and they go to your gut. Then you have a body detox uh, bottle of product that you take at night. Mm -hmm. Before you go to bed. Before you go to bed. It has activated charcoal plus milk thistle plus all kinds of other yummy goody things and it grabs those toxins in the gut and then when you get in the morning and go potty, it goes down the toilet. So that's why you have to have a detox system that detoxes the cells by boosting your glutathione levels and then it and then once it dumps into the gut, yep. it takes it out. So right, because you don't want it to be reabsorbed once you just let it out the garage. Right. Yes, if you don't have see that's another thing. You can boost your glutathione levels and it dumps it into the gut, but if you don't then detoxify the gut with the body product part then you're just retoxifying yourself yeah. very yep. good point you're so smart um, so we recommend um, 60 days two months one box is one month so you take two of the cell detox in the morning and then take two of the body detox at night mm -hmm. do that for 60 days and you're good for the rest of the year 
Um, we have some patients that just do this every January, February, and then they're they're cleansed. They're, this is how they keep themselves. Mm -hmm. And again, all you got to do is scan this. You guys know how to do this now, okay? Or you could click on it, and it takes you right to the page. Um, each 30-day supply is $49.99. Order yourself two boxes. And again, add to cart. Don't need to do the, the, the subscribe one. And then you'll have your two-month detox protocol there that will get all, help start getting all that stuff out of your nerve system, out of your body, out of your cells, and you'll be good to go. Okay? So now let's go back to because this is screen share, so I'm going to go back here. Okay, good. So that's what you would do right now nutritionally to start. Again, there's other things too that you can do. So, but time. It's, it's finding the time to begin to detox your life. So, once a week, once a month, make a clean meal plan. Start buying food or start making lists of foods that you can pronounce the ingredients. Right. So when you're when you're looking at the ingredients of stuff that maybe you want to buy, the the one the the number one ingredient you see is what is most in there. That's they, they go by how much each one is in there and then it goes in descending order. So the first one that's listed is what's in there the most. And the next one is what's in there the next. Then it keeps going on and on and on. And so that when you're looking at that that you read the ingredients so that you right. can pronounce the ingredients and then look at your serving sizes because if you go and make it up and it says that okay you only get like a quarter cup so you make up all this and so you're like oh well I want a whole cup of this well then right. you've just had four serving sizes so you've got to also look at that because then it tells you how much sugar's in there so that's something they're doing nowadays when they're de decreasing serving sizes um, so that they can say that it's healthier than it really is Yep. So beware. Yep. Beware. And again, you gotta, you can't wing this stuff. Life's too toxic. I'm sorry. I mean, we're, we're surrounded, like we said, we're surrounded by over 2 million chemicals on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So make time. You know, like this month, we're going to begin to start moving. We're going to begin switching out the, th the food that we can't pronounce what's in the ingredients right. for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. We're going to get start a healthier pan to cook it in. Yes. Food made by man versus food made by God. We're yep. going to shop. When are, you, when are you going to go shopping? Where are you going to go shopping? Again, Eileen and I have been doing this for over 33 years, right? Since 1987 when we met. We can help you. Um, so message us. We'll, we'll help you. We have all kinds of content to, to, and uh, handouts for you. Um, you know, when are you going to prepare the food? When are you going to eat the food, right? These are all things that we don't wing. We have times that we do this each day. And then how are you going to work out? Getting strong and exercising and sweating is a great way to, to detox the body. Yes. And we have 30 days of workouts on our SpineGeek.com. Um, on our SpineGeek page on Facebook, we've got workouts. Or you can come to our office and join us on Saturdays at 8.30 and sweat with us and detox with us. And sleep. you'll sleep better, you'll feel better, you'll look better. And again, finally, as far as time management, when are you going to switch out these toxic foods? Like this month... Find, start switching out toxic foods. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Uh, again, food by man or food by God, right? You can, sw and the next month, switch out your toxic drinks. You know, quit drinking soda pop, right? Quit drinking crappuccinos, especially if you're using the pink pack or blue pack or yellow pack to sweeten it. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, don't do that anymore. And just drink water uh, or tea or herbal teas or organic coffee, right? Um, you can switch out your toxic cleaners. Again, begin looking at um, what you're using to clean with and we, again we've got tons of handouts and the environmental working groups got tons of suggestions yep. to what you can use and again start with the one that you're lowest on so if you're lowest on let's say automatic dishwasher stuff right. then that's the one that you're going to switch over to a better product right. like seventh generation I think is is a clean one it's that I've clean seen it's there. not my favorite not at all I, they, I will not choose that one which most one do of the we time. use do you remember I, I use the eco EC okay ECO. Right. So eco cleaners um, then would be a good place yeah. to start. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then switch out your toxic skin products, your cosmetics for more that are safe, right? And then start working on your water. I mean, you could take one, two, three, four, five months. Again, you, it may take you a year, right? Five years. But you'll be ahead of the game and you'll stop putting toxins in your body. Yeah. You'll feel way better. Way better. And again, this is just a time management um, schedule that I have. So each day we tell the minute what it's going to be spent doing before it gets there. Mm -hmm. And so like on a Sunday, when do, when do I get up? When do we go to church? 
What's the plan for the week look like? We look at the week ahead of time to know what's going on. When does Mrs. Arve need me? When do I need her? When do our kids need us? When do our dogs need us? You know? <laughs> um, you know, then we plan for the week. We fuel. We protect. We shop. A to-do list. Then we have fun. <laughs> then we go to bed. <laughs> we don't have fun in bed. We just I have fun. Then we go to bed. I'm sorry. Then, But then Monday, what time do I wake up? When do I go to the gym? When do I you know, spend time reading the Bible or something? When do I get adjusted? When do I work out? Again, I have all these dates, times. So that each day, again, because God's not going to give us more than 24 hours in a day. I just get the most out of each moment and plan it. Because you're telling, the, you're telling the, the time where to go. You're not just winging it. Yeah, I'm not just winging this, this life that we talk about. These, these six shields, the five that we really use... There's a time each day, there's a time each week, there's a time each month, there's a time each right. year that we, we we implement that so that we can have a green grass life. You can't wing this. You have to get a hold yeah. of your time. Because if you, if you start to wing it, you just end up eating out and then you just shoot it right in the foot. And you say, well, do you ever have pizza, Dr. Joe? Do you ever have a donut? No, I don't have donuts. But I do have pizza. When? Well, look on Saturday. It says vacation fuel day. That's when we have the brownies and the cookies. Now, usually they're homemade because we want to be able to pronounce the ingredients. But that's, and again, this is, we, our life is fun. We have a good time. It's not toxic. It gives life to us. We're trying to share how to do that. But we also have fun. Again, you can see on a Saturday we have our vacation day. We, we, we eat what we want to eat and we have fun with that. And so, again, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation I'm sorry for the technical difficulties we experienced earlier uh, I hear this one's working for us and again if you want to check us out if you're like hey I'd like that guy to be that to be uh, my doctor uh, my health doctor because my, my spine geek doctor because again chiropractic spine geeks are all about focusing on health and what causes you and your children and your family to live and it's always good for you what we do is always good for you yeah. Findgeek.com. Findgeek.com. And so you can scan this QR code and and you can show our new patient special. So to get started, basically our new patient special is that you come in and you get over $499 worth of care. We do an examination. We do an x-ray to find out what your numbers are on your spine. Again, that's your garden hose. And then we jumpstart the healing process with adjustments to get the body healing and detoxing like it's supposed to. All I need you to do is simply fill this out, your first name, your last name, your email, your mobile phone, any notes that you might have, and hit continue. And then we'll make you an appointment. And when you come in, just realize it's going to save you hundreds of dollars. It's just $199. Again, we're really busy. We see lots of people. We have lots of fun. If this isn't for you right now, that's okay. But if it is for you, take advantage of the special offer right now for $199. Make an appointment, and let's start getting you healthy. Let's start finding you peace, strong, fuel, protect, and get your nerve system powered up so you can begin to feel great and look great again. Mm -hmm. So, this is Dr. Joe Harvey along with my wife, Eileen. Eileen, we love you. We appreciate you. If you have any questions, message us and just know we love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Good luck.